good morning. So everyone, so I just want to show you real, uh, true, real time of really, you know, as a bride, right? What should you do? So in the month of June, uh, July, we was I'm so busy with all the bridal makeups and stuff. So I'm going to show you how I do on one of my clients. So first, we're going to use this, you know, each morning, right? When you wake up early in the morning, especially Chinese tradition. Oh my God, I think I had to wake up like 3 a.m. By the time I reach her place, I have to reach like 4 a.m. So it's a huge, humongous uh, way of... Uh, so there's a lot of work done, basically, to do uh, uh, makeup for a bride. And then the bride, right, also I have to make sure that she eats well, she has good skin. Because if not on that day, right, the makeup will not uh, add her well to her skin. And then her skin will crack or maybe in the middle of the, uh, uh, the whole of the day. Because they're going to do a lot of things like... Uh, tea ceremony they're gonna do like um, uh, after that some of them church wedding yeah then after that they rest for a while then evening about four five o'clock then is a it's a dinner wedding so you know as a bride right you have a lot of things to do I understand so you need a lot of rest before the event you need to also sleep well you need to eat well, you need to be healthy, you need to eat lots and lots of vitamin C, uh, a lot of gluten iron uh, products, very rich in um, vitamin C and E, so that you have good skin. Okay, then after that, um, so today I'm going to show you how do you depuff, because each morning when you wake up, right, let's say for example the day, the day before you are uh, having fun with your bridesmaid, you know, your friends uh, come together to your place, you know, maybe you eat oily food or, or maybe salty food, right? And then your face will puffy. So this is what I do with my trick. So I get this uh, facial oil. I got this from Italy, I think. I can't remember already. So anyway, so I got this facial oil. So this facial oil is very good. It helps to... Uh, after I've done the cleansing, the toner... Uh, okay, basically my cleanser helps to cleanse exfoliate tone at the same time. Then after that, I do my serum my favorite vitamin C, my rose serum. Uh, if you don't have vitamin C serum, use the Ufinity serum that I use for, because especially for bridal makeup, I will use Ufinity serum on her because uh, the skin will be very hydrated and then very firm. Yeah, you want to keep the skin firm while you're doing your makeup. And then, then after that, right, I'm going to put the facial oil on her. So I put the facial oil first. Because this facial oil, right, helps to, um, hydrate her skin throughout the day and then on top of that right I can do guasa for her so that to depuff depuff her face so I also put the a bit of oil on the neck okay but not too much so that I can do a bit of um, So that I can do a bit of guasa on her face before I started the makeup because uh, then the makeup will last longer and then her face will be firmer together with the Ufinity Serum at work, right? So when you do your guasa, don't gua so hard, okay? It's just... Okay. Don't gua so hard until red, uh. it's just very mild guasa. Okay, my face is quite sensitive. A little bit, right? It's turned red already. So you see, that's why I'm very sensitive to, to products, and I make sure that <coughs> my client use the right products. And then Mary Kay products is quite safe so far. If you choose the right uh, serum for the customers, okay, good. So now you see, after the rose serum, Ufinity serum, and then after that with the facial serum, uh, the facial oil is much more firmer. Okay, good. So next, right, we're going to do is we're going to guasa for the eye area because especially for eyes, if you are puffy, there's no way to deep puff. No, you use cucumber also no use. Okay, so I'm going to use my eye cream, my favorite eye cream, this one, which I use for lips also. Okay. So when you go out on the eyes for your client, right, please don't guasa. So it's just a light. So that it depuffs the water. <coughs> Ta-da! You're done. So the eyes looks lifted and much more uh, circulated. So that there's a lot of um, much more firmer. And then your eyes later when you, when you pour on makeup is nicer also. Okay, good. So next, right, I'm gonna do is the base. Next, right, I'm gonna do is the base. 
So I like to use Mary Kay uh, liquid foundation, especially I'm using the matte one. Okay, and then if you have the honey glow, use the honey glow because uh, now I don't know where I put my honey glow. So I'm going to use my facial oil. So this is my trick. And then I use my uh, the highlighting. Yesterday I used the gold one. So I show you. You can see the gold. So I mix together. I like to mix things. Huh? Okay. So do one area at a time when you blend. So if you have good skin like me, right, don't do much concealing. Normally early morning, right, a lot of brights where right, they have puffiness on their face. So that's why I do aquasa for them and then I do a bit of treatment first <coughs> before I start to do the class, uh, before I start to do the brights uh, makeup for them. So the trick is, right, I put renewing jamas for about 10 minutes. I put very thick. Then I apply makeup for them. Then their face is very pretty and glowy. Okay, can you see the difference? Okay, so I just want to blend more. So I actually mix the <coughs> I actually apply the primer already before. I actually mix the primer together with the foundation and all. So you see how lazy I am. Huh? But this is how I do for my client also. I mix together. One thing good about Mary Kay foundation, right, and the primer, you can mix together. Normally, right, after the powder uh, is done with the facial oil and stuff, so I'm going to put a little bit of powder. <clears throat> when I do powder, right, I don't do like brushing. I will do um, like this with my loose powder. So I press on it. So with the Korean bridal uh, makeup, right? Bridal makeup, I actually uh, wanted to give that kind of a uh, very hydrated kind of uh, makeup. So I'm going to put the eye primer first. Normally I put eye primer all over the brow area as well, so that the eye makeup will last longer. Okay, and then apply a bit on the bottom. So during the class, right, we'll teach you how to do a lot of concealing, concealing for the pores, concealing for pigmentations, concealing for dark circles. So we'll do all that. Okay. So next, I'm gonna draw the brows ready. Okay, great. So I've already done my brows. So this is what I do. Um, and then next, right, we're gonna do is eyeshadow. So I'm using the Brighty Brighty Nude Huda Beauty. Not all colors is good actually, but I I kind of like the pink, the nudes. So I love to create this uh, pinkish nude color. So for me, right, <clears throat> a lot of brides, right, they will tell me, oh, please don't give me dark eyeshadow color. So I'm like, okay, I will not give you dark eyeshadow, but please let me bring out the beauty in you using a very enhance color you know to enhance your beauty so how do you look at like if you look, look at my previous video i teach you how to see whether you're warm tone or cool tone so check on that so i'm going to use this um pink color and uh, this is a bit beigey beigey color as the base so i already put the eye primer so the eye primer helps to bring out your eye color make it long lasting so I like to use a beigey, beigey color first, a base, so that it will create a base. Okay. Okay, so in the in the Korean bridal makeup, we teach you a lot on how to do contouring. Okay, good. 
So um, next right, I'm going to use a very light color to do contouring. So you want smaller nose, right? So this is how you do it. Ta-da! Okay, good. So next, right? <clears throat> I'm going to do is I'm going to do the eyeshadow. Next, um, for to change my eyeshadow color, I always use tissue paper. use a light color to change color and then I'll do like this to my brush so like this your brush lasts longer you don't have to keep using the spray okay okay next right I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a shimmery color so it really depends on the type of uh, color that I will choose on the day for the brides because it depends on the uh, um, bridal gown whether it's ivory color or whether it's white white yeah and then how tan is their skin if the skin is quite tan I'll use more gold tones if their skin is very fair like me I'll cho I can choose pinkish okay good so next right I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my smudger Okay, this will give a bit of depth. And I was do always do the bottom as well. So the bottom right, if you want, you can add a bit of um, brown color eyeliner. And we smudge. Same for the, the other side. This is an art when you do contouring of your eyes, huh? This is why you pay us as an artist to do it for you. So usually you can draw eyeliner for something smudge. Okay, you don't have to worry that the eye makeup is very overpowering because when you take pictures, right, you can't see anything much. Really? <laughs> okay, I'm telling the truth. I do a lot of photo shoot, I know. When I look at the picture, I know. Okay, then I do a bit of uh, shimmery powder at the front. And then highlighter. Okay, good. Next right, I'm going to draw my eyeliner. For top right, I use a darker color. Okay. So it depends on your eyes. So normally sometimes I will draw the eyeliner thicker, I will draw the eyeliner thinner, so it really depends on your eyes. And then after that, right, I will use my liquid liner. Okay, good. <clears throat> I'm done with drawing my eyeliner, so I will smudge a bit to connect the eyeliner together. Ta-da! Okay, good. So later, I'm going to put my fake lashes. So next, right, we're going to do is we're going to do highlighting. So for me, right, I'm a highlighting queen. I put a lot of highlighter on my <laughs> client so that, you know, on a day, she looks very glowy. 
and happy happy bright is the glorious bright right okay i put this gold on her and i use a diamond powder Then after that, <clears throat> I do a bit of contouring. So it depends on your, um, what do you say? Uh, it depends on your um, powder color. I actually choose the right foundation shades, a darker shade for the contouring here to contour. And then if you look at it at the, at the mirror, at the camera, right? And then see whether the highlighting comes through. And then, yeah, so it comes through. Next, right, I'm going to do is I use a uh, blusher. Okay, so for my blusher, right, I use a light pink color blusher. I'm, I use Fenty for this one. So if you want to use a nude lipstick, right, you have to put your blusher slightly more so that you don't look very uh, pale. Mm. Okay, good. So next, right, I'm gonna apply my lipstick. So make sure your lips are very pinkish, as in like very. Uh, you have already sloughed away the dead cells. Use our lip spa. Uh, we are famous for lip spa. It helps to scrub away the dead cells and put lip balm. So this is the look that I choose for my client. Doesn't she look lovely? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, good. So next, right, I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fake lashes and then I'll come back to you with the full form of the bright look. See you later.